What's your name? Gil. Uh, and uh, how did you end up in the pictures? Uh, I've been there 26 years. Yeah. I'm the manager. I have the boiler's license. Yeah. Pipe fitter's license. I take care of the mill, the company. And so somebody came by and said, uh, I want to take some pictures. Yeah, from your maps. Yeah. Has that ever happened before? Uh, we've had a. Uh, a documentary in a, in a magazine yeah. about five years ago, and uh, this is the first time I've ever seen any photos of us actually in the yeah. process of making cool. stuff. Nice, huh? Pretty wild. Yeah. that we were working on. I, my name is Julie Kelly. I work for the city of Fall River and I'm the Mass in Motion Coordinator. And as such, we're trying to make the city a place that encourages you to get out and walk and encourages you to eat healthier food. And so we're doing lots of projects and Andrea has been helping us to kind of promote those projects and tell others about the work that needs to be done. And one of those projects was getting senior champions out there to take pictures of Fall River in, in motion. And so there were a lot of seniors, people my age, out there taking pictures in the winter, in the snowstorms, in the basketball courts, uh, the football fields, soccer fields, taking pictures of all of us Fall River in motion. And then, what did we do since then? We just recently had a history walk of the new Quickishan River Rail Trail with Andrea and uh, 
another professor, Viveros, in the back. Camille Viveros in the back there, um, organizing students to tell the story of mill workers back in the 20th century, uh, working in the mills and what their lives were like, including eight-year-olds and 12-year-olds and teenagers working very, very long hours. And that history walk we will be repeating, but we had about a hundred people come out. And, and I just cannot thank Andrea for the role that she has played in drawing attention to this community, to this city, and, and the beauty and the amazing history of it. And finally, here we are. She's part of the Friends of the, Quick, of the Alfred J. Lima Quickishan River Rail Trail. Has everybody been on it? No, no. no. The, the opening of the trail, the ribbon cutting, is this Monday at 3 o'clock at Father Travasso Park. So, and, and that's a beautiful spot too. So, her idea was to have this event, to have this uh, contest, and you can see the results. Just amazing, beautiful pictures, urban pictures, uh, natural pictures, pictures of the city that we all should love and celebrate and make greater. So, I, I don't know where she is, but I would like us all to give a great hand to Andrea. Perfect timing, huh? That was pretty good. <laughs> it's been a busy morning. We had BCC commencement this morning. Oh, wow. Graduated 700 wonderful young students in our community. So I was happy to do that. But we're here now, and I was uh, very excited to see this. this is gonna, I think this is going to become one of my favorite exhibits. Uh, it, it plays in perfectly to what we did this past year with the new brand of the city, Make It Here. That's the slogan of the new of the city, Make It Here. And there's so many great things that are made here in Fall River, whether it's a product or a food, uh, or whether it's your life that you've made here, or whether it's as a tourism destination, like the Narrow Center for the Arts. So I'm so happy that that was the chosen name of this exhibit. I can't wait to see it. And uh, without further ado, I think we've got some awards to pass we out. We do. So let's so get to that. Thank you, gonna, everybody, for being here. We're going to start out with the landscape category and an honorable mention to Stephen Oliveira.
story goes to Catherine Goldman for her photo, Busy Bees. Second prize in wildlife goes to Mindy Lavasser for Coyote in the Yard. The third category is called Sea and Sky. An article mention goes to Bernadette Banville.